separately. First, as an object approaches, both eyes track it in a process called convergence. The size of the eyes in this example has been greatly exaggerated so that the subtle movement that takes place during convergence can be seen. Convergence of the eyes keeps the image of the object of interest centered on the fovea, the part of the retina where resolution is highest. If the eyes do not converge appropriately, diplopia, or double vision, occurs. Second, the pupil must constrict to restrict the entry of light rays diverging from a near object, since diverging rays cannot be bent enough by the periphery of the lens to make them fall on the fovea. If the pupil were to remain dilated, the image would be blurred. Finally, the shape of the lens must change, increasing its refractive index so that the light rays passing through it converge on the fovea. In distance vision, the lens is pulled at its equator by the suspensory ligament, so that it is relatively thin. When the muscles of the ciliary body contract, the tension on the suspensory ligament decreases and this allows the lens to assume a rounder shape, increasing its power to bend light. As a result, the image is focused on the fovea. Combined convergence, pupillary constriction, and rounding up of the lens all function to keep an object in focus as it approaches the eye.